Late for work. I learned yesterday that I can only have six absences a year. No matter the reason doctor note or not. But I can have 14 tardies in the same year. Not consciously. I am running late this morning. I could have clocked in 12 minutes late. But I get the same occurrence whether I am 2 minutes late or 2 hours late. So here I am in my car reading and playing games for a little bit before I clock in. Why do policies encourage bad behavior? With my employer, the penalty for hourly employees missing work is an occurrence. Occurrences roll off after a year. And going beyond seven at any one time becomes a problem. Missing a day gets you a single occurrence. As odd as this may sound, missing up to three consecutive days also results in a single occurrence. The result, most people that need to miss a single day, take the full three days off. The penalty's the same. So, why not? My son has an hour plus commute and has to go over two bridges. They get a warning if they are a couple minutes late. I didn't know this until he slept in one day and I woke him and said, get up and go. Text them and let them know that you'll be one half hour late. He told me, no. I have to text in sick. That way I won't be in any trouble. Great system guys. Management often don't think things through when they are attempting to drive behaviors. I have said it in this group before we had a manager for a line that made it policy that if you were a minute late clocking in, you lost the first half hour of the day. So no one was a minute late ever again but a lot of people were suddenly 25 minutes late. Holding up production for 25 minutes. Because once they were going to be late, they didn't rush. That policy was rescinded. Most of the times these policies are made by short-sighted managers who can't see the forest for the trees. As you only learned that yesterday, I don't suppose you read whether you get paid for the time that you're not there when you're late. Or if you have to work the time back. That's usually the mitigation for these policies. This is the business equivalent of zero tolerance policies for being bullied in school. So I, as a victim, will get the same suspension as the bully. Even if I didn't start anything and even actively tried to de-escalate the situation, I might as well beat them to a bloody pulp and make the punishment worth it. The corollary of, can only have six absences, is, you get to have six absences. Expect a lot of people to be, slick, mid to late December each year. Is there a time limit on the tardy? As in if your shift is 85. Can you clock in at 458 and it just be a tardy? Because that's what I'd do when sick two minute clock in. The other side is what's an absence. One day. Or one segment of time you aren't at work. If the latter. That just encourages you to take a week off for a one-day illness. Not work, but school. My daughter's school inexplicably have a start time of 8.30 a.m. for preschool. And all the other year groups start at 8.50. This means that for the first couple of weeks of term, drop-off consisted of taking my youngest to school at 8.30 then loitering around the playground for 20 minutes with the eldest until 8.50. A couple of weeks in, they sent an email, reminding us that preschool drop-off was at 8.30. They would only keep the doors open until 8.40. And then the kids would be marked as late. Guess who gets dropped off at 8.39 now? I went through a really rough patch when I was in high school. And the penalty for missing too many classes was, dot out of school suspension. I was like, okay, I can go pick up a shift at work and make some money. Such a punishment. We get fired after five occurrences where I work. Takes a revolving year for the occurrences to fall off. I cannot miss one day of work for the next year or I'm fired. I've had two sinus infections. 
both from the chemicals floating in the air at work. I was working my long block of nights when it happened both times. A kidney stone. First one ever. Lucky me. And COVID. Sickest I've ever been. Struggled to breath for three days. 103 fever. Body aches and I was told I had to work or get an occurrence. Wife is an ICU charge nurse and told me not to get my ass out of bed. Doctor excuses for everything. Hell I drove to work and thought I was gonna give birth in my truck when I had the kidney stone. Couldn't make my legs work to walk inside I was hurting so bad. Had a buddy of mine's house catch fire one night they gave him an occurrence for not coming in. Because of it, I was told, just because it's an emergency for you doesn't mean everyone considers it an emergency. So there is no excuse for not being here. One second late is the same as six hours late. It's the same punishment so if someone's late, they just work a half day and the crew has to figure out how to do everything a man short. Policies like this are why my company is bleeding people to other plants in our area. They are also the reason why those of us who have been there for 10 plus years don't kill ourselves. While we are there. I worked at a union shop and their rules made an absences punishment the same as tardy. Not only that I had a doctor APPT set up after work and the had mandatory overtime that day. I said I can't. They said I have to. I went to the doctor after work and when I came in the next day I was put on notice. So I guess if you plan a doctor APPT either set early and don't bother trying to make it work for the company or just miss the whole day. I once had a colleague leave to take another job. He was a web designer. Not customer facing. Not support. Not a job where punctuality mattered much. The traffic here is really bad but unpredictable. So there's no consistency in journey times. A 20 minute commute regularly becomes 30 or 40 minutes. Or even an hour. He hated it there. He had to be at his desk by 9 a.m. At 9.05 he'd be noticed as late and given a verbal. At 9.10 it'd be written in his HR record. But, the doors were not unlocked until 8.55. He said that in the morning you'd see people sitting waiting in their cars. Not daring to be late. No wonder he left. He quit there and came back a month later. How can it be legal to not accept a doctor's note for an absence just because you've passed some arbitrary threshold? People generally don't plan to get sick or injured. These things just happen. Any employer who turns around and says, yeah no. Sorry, but you're going to have to come in as you've already been out six times. I don't care that you're in the hospital with a burst appendix. You should be at work and you're getting written up if you don't get here right now. Quote, check your local labor laws depending on where you live. That policy could be highly illegal. And even if somehow it's not, it's immoral and will result in something very serious someday like someone feeling they have to go to work instead of the er and turns out to be something like a ruptured appendix life threatening if not treated asap wow living in a socialist hellhole of a scandinavian country sounds pretty good right now 120 days here pr year fuck em in the neck and clock in 30 minutes before quitting time Take your tardy and make it worth it. I'm guessing you're in America and I feel sorry for you. Mine was the reverse. You couldn't be tardy more than X times, but you can call out and just take a day with no pay. So, that is how a manager gets punched. What kind of reasons do you believe exhibit good behavior? Do you need a policy that outlines all the good behavior reasons someone must meet to use the late and absent policies? Are some of these good or bad behaviors? And why does it matter? Late because you had a migraine when you woke up, but feel good enough to go to work two hours late and not lose a sick day? Great! 
Late because your kid's bus broke down and you need to run them to school and make it back in. Traffic and not lose a vacation day? Great. Late and decide to chill and read. Giving yourself a deeply needed rest? Great. Late because you're getting laid and make it to work just under the 20-hour wire. You're an adult. Policies are for adults. Rules are for children who need help with bad behavior. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.